I've been meticulously combing through the 2024 retirement list, looking up each and every set that's retiring, and I've tentatively created my top 10 sets for investing this year. In this video, I'm going to go into detail on why I believe each of these sets could be top investments of the year. We're only a month into the year, so I do expect this list to change as the retirement list is updated and situations change around these sets. I plan on making one video like this a quarter so that we can see how my thoughts change on these sets throughout the year. And just so it's clear, I'm not buying any sets that are retiring in 2024 yet for investing. I'm still looking out and scooping up some deals for 2023 retired sets. I plan on starting most of my buying for investing around May of 2024, specifically the May the 4th promotions that lego.com runs. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and drop a like below so I know to make more in the future. Let's go ahead and get started with number 10. That is the John Deere four wheel drive tractor set number 42132. This set has an MSRP of $34.99. It was released in March of 2022, making it have a two year and 10 month shelf life if it retires at the end of this year. I'm generally not a fan of Technic sets for investing. They tend to rise slowly in value when they retire and not have a ton of demand in the aftermarket. But this set really interests me because it's John Deere. There are a lot of John Deere collectors out there that collect anything related to the brand. Somewhat like model train collectors that also collect Lego trains. I think there's a nice crossover with the farming industry into Lego. And this isn't just a one-off set. There are two other John Deere sets out there right now that are not retiring. They have a forage harvester and a skitter. Collectors who find out about this set after 2024 when it retires are going to want to go back and collect this set to complete all the John Deere sets that LEGO has. Being the first of this sub thing to retire is a big factor why I like this set. Many people won't know what to think about this set for investing because we don't have any prior comparisons and they will probably pass for investing. I definitely expect this set to go under the radar and currently have my target discount to buy for investing at 40% off. At number 9 we have the A-Frame Cabin, set number 21338, MSRP of $179.99. It was released in February of 2023, making it have only a 1 year and 11 month shelf life if it retires at the end of this year. I spoke about this set recently in my video going over every idea set retiring in 2024, but this is just a beautiful set. It's so unique. I don't think there's another LEGO set out there like this. People are going to want this set for their city after it's retired. To me, this feels like a uh, on par with the old fishing store and the medieval blacksmith that just retired. So far, I haven't noticed many sales for this set. Right now, I'm targeting a 35% discount to pick up the set for investing. So we may have to get creative and stack up some discounts to get there. I'm going to talk more about how I create large discounts on Lego sets during the midway point of this video. At number eight, we have Eldorado Fortress, set number 10320, MSRP of $214.99. It was released in July of 2023, making it have only a one year and six month shelf life if it retires at the end of this year. A Lego has been slowly but surely releasing more redesigned vintage Lego sets. We've been seeing this with the Lion Knight's Castle, the Galaxy Explorer, and a variety of GWPs throughout last year and the year before that. This set in particular is a remake of set number 6276 that was released in 1989. Surprisingly, I haven't seen much talk about this set in the LEGO investing community so far. Maybe a lot of people weren't expecting the set to retire this year, but currently it is on both Retirement List I Checked, Brick Fanatics, and Brick Tap. Because LEGO is continuing to remake these vintage sets, it's bringing a lot of adults back into the hobby that built these sets when they were a child. As they continue to get back into the hobby over the next several years, they're going to want to go back and collect all of these remade vintage sets. Currently, there's very low supply out there for this set on eBay, only 27 sellers, but I'm sure that will increase as the year goes on. For now, I'm putting my target buy price as 40% off, but I may lower that discount if we continue to not see many sales on this set. At number 7, we have the Phantom Menace Brickhead set number 40676, MSRP of $54.99. It will be released in May of 2024, so a few months out. And if it retires at the end of this year, it will have an 8-month shelf life. We technically don't know the retirement date for this set yet, but I'm assuming that it will follow the same path as the Battle of Endor Heroes Brickheads, and it will retire in the same year. We also don't even have any images of this set yet, but I'm confident that LEGO is going to deliver another great looking round of characters. I feel confident about this set for investing for the same reasons why I like the Battle of Endor Heroes Brickheads. 
It's a Lego exclusive Star Wars set with under a year shelf life. It has unique characters that have never been made in Brickhead's form before. And it looks like Lego's going to be releasing these large packs of Brickheads yearly based off some of the early Star Wars movies. Every Lego Star Wars Brickheads that's exclusive to Lego has been a home run for investing. Some people may be low on Battle of Endor Heroes since it was out for just an extra month, but I am not worried about that set at all. I think we're going to see some nice appreciation on that set over the next year and beyond. I am a little bit disappointed at the price point for this set. LEGO has always priced their Brickheads at $10 for each one included in a pack or separately, and then around $5 for a smaller one. I'm hoping right now that we're getting maybe 5 full figures and then a 6 small character to make up for that $55 price tag. Either way, I'll be buying this set and right now I'm targeting a 35% discount. At number 6 we have a 2 for 1 Sonic and Tails set number 40627 and 40628. Both of these sets have MSRPs of $9.99, were released in September of 2023 and will have a 1 year 4 month shelf life when they retire. These sets feel very similar to me as the Minecraft Brickheads that retired last year. They're Lego exclusive, short shelf life, based off an iconic video game, and both are tied to an ongoing Lego theme. The Minecraft Brickheads have already doubled in price just one month after retirement, actually tripled for the Llama Brickheads, and I think we could see the same trajectory for these two sets. These characters are iconic and will be sought after, especially since Lego has this whole line dedicated to Sonic that will keep reminding people that Lego makes Sonic sets and they're going to want to have Brickheads to go along with him. As with every LEGO exclusive set, it's very hard for people to stack up a lot of these sets due to online limits. To get a huge quantity, you'd have to live near a LEGO store and go in pretty often. I'll be picking these up anytime I can for a total discount of 30% off. If you're new to the channel, you're probably wondering how I'm able to target these large discounts like 40% off. Most LEGO sets will never be discounted by that large of amount straight up, so you have to be resourceful and stack up discounts. The best way to do that is by ordering from lego.com during good gift with purchases, stacking on insider's points, a cashback site like Rakuten, and a cashback credit card. By selling your gift with purchases and crediting the profit towards your original order, you're able to create large discounts on your orders after adding up all of your savings. If you want to learn more about the strategy and the savings you can bring in, you should check out this video that I made on the best gift with purchases from 2023 where I break down the discounts you could have created. Also, if you don't have a Rakuten account yet, you can join with a nice incentive bonus using my referral link that's in the description below. At number 5, we have the Stormtrooper Mech set number 75370, MSRP of $15.99. It was released in August of 2023, making it have a one year and five month shelf life when it retires. I'm honestly very excited about this new line of Star Wars mechs. I think they're very overlooked because many people see them as just a play toy, not a ship or packed with exclusive figures. This is a brand new sub theme of Star Wars. Everyone is so excited about the helmets, the dioramas, these new mini ships that are coming out. But what about these mechs? The first wave of these mechs started last year with the Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper. I like all of them, but I love the Stormtrooper the most because of the army building factor to it. I can see people wanting to build up armies of these mechs, or at least have a few. We know that LEGO is continuing this line because there's a Luke Skywalker mech coming out soon. I think it's definitely within the realm of possibilities that LEGO will make more clone mechs in the future. And after 2024, these classic Stormtrooper mechs are going to be gone. And if people want to build up their armies with the other clone mechs that may be coming out in the future, they'll have to go to eBay and Amazon to buy these sets. The minifigure isn't exclusive, but the only other set that the torso and legs have been in was the Walmart exclusive trash compactor diorama that retired last year. Lego has made Star Wars buildable figures before. Those are just done okay depending on which figure it was. But these are well-made brick-built mechs. The early brick-built superhero mechs have done very well, and I'm very confident at this point that as long as these mechs become a regular sub theme for LEGO, these will appreciate very nicely. The price point for this set is a bit steep at $15.99. You can easily be picking these up for 20% off, but I'm going to be aiming higher for around a 40% discount. Prisoner of Azkaban Figures, set number 40677. This set actually still hasn't been released yet, but it should be releasing on March 1st for $49.99 and it would have a 10 month shelf life. I'm really liking these LEGO exclusive 4 or 5 Brickheads packs 
Last year, we saw that with the Professors of Hogwarts and the Battle of Indoor Heroes Brickheads that we discussed. The Professors of Hogwarts set is doing very well already. That had an MSRP of $39.99. It was even discounted to 40% off over Black Friday just a few months ago. And right now on eBay, it's already going for over $60. The Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Hagrid Brickhead set, $404.95. That retired last year and had an MSRP of $24.99. Those were also on sale from Lego for 30% off over Black Friday. And those are selling for close to $40 on eBay right now. Those are just two sets that retired last year. Lego's been making Harry Potter brickheads for a while and they've had a great track record of appreciating value. Another reason why I like these larger brickhead sets is you don't have to buy a ton of individual $10 brickheads. It's a bigger box with five characters. It's much less work to have to sell one set versus five smaller sets for the same dollar amount. I would say the ceiling for price appreciation of an individual $10 brickhead set is a little higher because the price is more affordable, but I think the convenience is worth it for me. I'll be targeting a 35% discount on this set, but I'm sure I'll be able to get an even larger discount, especially during the Harry Potter GWP that LEGO runs every year. If you wanna see more LEGO investing content like this, definitely subscribe. At number three, we have the Exotic Pink Parrots at number 31144, MSRP of $19.99, released in August of 2023, making have a one year and five month shelf life. I already broke this set down a little bit in my Target exclusives video a couple weeks ago, but there are some trends that I think we need to realize. Big breakout performers like last year's Bird of Paradise, the Paris postcard that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, and of course the TIE Fighter pilot helmet all have one thing in common. They're the start of a new theme or sub-theme. There's a lot of risk and ambiguity of whether the line will be popular or if people will want them at all once they're retired. But LEGO is continuing to target adults with new themes and we see this with the latest sub-theme of birds that they're releasing under the Icons line. The first in the series is the Kingfisher. I'm sure more will be coming in the near future in that line. LEGO has only made a few one-off bird sets in the past and they've all done pretty well. For example, set number 21301, Birds. It was a LEGO idea set from 2015, so it was a while back. Had an MSRP of $39.99. That set is going for around $160 on eBay. But over the past year, we've seen LEGO put out many bird sets out there, like the Parrot Art set, the Small Bird's Nest, the Exotic Parrot, the blue version of this set, and the Creator 3-in-1 Birdhouse. I strongly considered adding that set, 31143, the Creator 3-in-1 Birdhouse to this list, but it feels a little bit more talked about than this set, so it barely didn't make the cut. It definitely seems like LEGO has done their research and know that birds are an adult niche that many people want. Let's not forget that this is also a colorway of set number 31136, Exotic Parrot. This set is exactly the same as that set, but that one is in a blue color. That set is not an exclusive set. It's available at every major retailer and it's not scheduled to retire at the end of this year. People are going to see this blue set on the shelves and want to go and pick up any other sets to go along with it. This pink parrot will be exactly what they want. The more I research this set, the more excited I get about it. I'm putting my initial target buy price of 35% off. At number two, we have Gandalf the Grey and Balrog, set number 40631, MSRP of $19.99. It was released in January of 2023, making it have a two-year shelf life when it retires. This is one of the three LEGO exclusive Lord of the Rings brickheads that are currently available. All three of them are projected to retire at the end of this year as well. Those two sets are 40630, Frodo and Gollum, and 40632, Aragon and Arwen. There's also another two pack set number 40751, Legolas and Gimli coming out this year. The first time Lego made Lord of the Rings sets was from 2012 to 2014. All of those sets have been incredibly popular post-retirement and have been great investments. I actually invested in three of those sets back in the day. I invested in 9471, 9472, and 79005 in case you were interested. But we haven't seen any past Lord of the Ring brick heads to compare these two. I don't think that's an issue though. We know this theme is incredibly popular and has a large dedicated fan base. The supply of these sets are incredibly limited due to them being LEGO store exclusives. There's continued collectability because of the beautiful Rivendell set, the rumored Tower of Sauron that should come out in late 2024, and of course the upcoming Legolas and Gimli Brickheads. You look at the first Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, DC, Brickheads, and so on, 
the first sets always do well. Right now I'm liking this set over the other three because I feel like Frodo and Gollum are the most obvious pair and will probably be picked up more for investing than the others. Gandalf is just as important to collect so I think the demand for this set will be just as strong and potentially have a little bit less supply. These are just my predictions. Aragon and Arwen could totally end up ranking higher for me later this year, especially with Legolas coming out. Right now, I'm putting my target discount for the set at around 35 to maybe 40% off. Here it is, my number one set for investing this year is the New York Postcard, set number 40519. It has an MSRP of $14.99, released in July of 2022, making it have a two year and six month shelf life when it retires. This one is probably a big surprise to most people, but I've become a huge fan of the LEGO store exclusive postcard line after the amazing performance of 40568 Paris Postcard that retired last year. That was the first postcard set to retire. It had an MSRP of $14.99 as well. And right now, only one month after it retired, it's selling for $40 on eBay. And it's not just a few purchases here and there. These are sold listings daily. This year, there are three postcards retiring, New York, Australia, and Beijing. I'm choosing New York because it feels like the most iconic of the locations. We've seen the New York City architecture set that's been around since 2016 because of how incredibly popular it is. I'll be monitoring the supply and demand for these three sets, and whichever set has the best numbers is what I'll dive into the deepest. Once these retire, there will still be London and Japan postcards available, carrying on the collectability of the set. I'm so high on these sets because no one is talking about them even after the huge success of the Paris postcard. If more YouTubers and investors start talking about these sets, they may start falling down my list in future updates due to them potentially being a little over hoarded when compared to the demand. I'll be setting my target buy price at 40% off for these sets. Alrighty, that is my list. As you can see, I'm heavily targeting LEGO store exclusives. Because of the low supply, they tend to have a higher hit rate for being great investments. If you want to follow along and see how this list changes over time, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I do have four more sets that I'm really loving for investing right now, but they're pretty under the radar, so I'm probably not going to talk about them much on my channel. If you want to hear my analysis on those sets, you should check out my Patreon. I'll be covering these sets in the February Patreon exclusive video and you can join using the link in the description if you're interested in that. One more announcement I want to make before I end the video. In case you didn't see my post last week, I'll be slimming down my upload schedule from twice a week to once a week. Unfortunately, making two videos a week is not sustainable with my personal life, the Patreon, and my own LEGO investing business. I want all of my videos to be the best that I can make them by putting a ton of time, effort, and research into them. Moving to once a week uploads will allow me to do that. Thank you to everyone who's been following along during the early days of my channel. I'm excited to continue to improve my content and bringing value to the LEGO investing community. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you drop a like. If you want to see more LEGO investing content like this, definitely subscribe. And if you have any thoughts about these sets or just questions about LEGO investing, definitely drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. As always, my videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm only sharing my journey as a LEGO investor, and I encourage you to do your own research before buying any LEGO sets.